Listen to me. I will be under them. The pastor ain't the only leader. There's leadership in all of us. And the reason why some of us can't step up and lead because we, we have to deal with so many people who decide they ain't going to be under us. They'll be under the pastor, but they won't be under me. We have, the pastor said we should be here uh, for our uh, meeting and, 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 you know, tell them, I, you know, hey, look, yeah, we need to be here for this meeting. <laughs> but you're scared because they'd be, you know, especially people call, they'd be rolling their eyes and looking at you like, oh, you think you fool yourself now. What the, I remember when you were single. I remember when you were, Broke. I remember when you were back in the day, and I used something. About and so you can't handle it. And so God has to teach some of us leaders how to deal with rejection, how to deal with rebellion. All y'all ain't said nothing. How to deal with folk won't work with you. That's why you think these pastors is jumping from one church to another just because they're going to give him a pension plan and pay for his house and give him a car. So that dude, he's he tired of dealing with them people. Hey, man. And, and God is saying, you, so what? You go into a bigger church, but you just got bigger devils over there. You got more devils. Instead of one bad deacon, you got nine bad deacons. <laughs> Abide. And I'm nobody's fool being under somebody. I'm learning the principle of God. Because part of the fruit that God is bearing in my life. Stay with me now. I'm going to sleep now. I'm headed home. Is that I, I bear the fruit of gentleness and patience. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if I think that I'm better than the leader, God, what he'll do with you, he'll let you keep being on the back burner until your time come. See, God sees the heart. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes you can preach, teach, sing, look better, walk better, talk better than the leader. But you can't, you can't kill the leader, whatever that group or organization is, any more than you can kill a body and get away with it. So what God is looking for is somebody like an Aaron in whatever he puts in your heart to do. Some, some of us, God is putting some heart. I want to do this. I'm about to, but the pastor ain't asked me to do this. Well, you know, if God put it in your heart, then you ought to, you, if you're not afraid, to walk in love, you simply come and you ask to say, look, I've, I've been wanting to do this. Or I think about doing what you think. But now if they say no, you don't say, well, I'm getting my marbles and leave. Uh -huh. And that's what a lot of people can't handle. Yeah. Anymore, do you go to your supervisor on the job and think, well, I think we ought to make widgets this way and just move the whole machinery around. And they were like, okay, we'll do it because if we don't, you're going to quit, ain't you? God is trying to teach you to incubate what's in you. Yeah. Oh, God, help me. Holy Ghost, I'm so many relationships, marriage especially, have broke down because somebody, I want this and I want it now. Yeah. The husband, I want this. I don't care if it kills this house. I want this. And God was like, I ain't saying you couldn't have had that 2022 Corvette there, Billy. But you just didn't need it now. Now your lights getting cut off, your gas getting cut off. You, you just didn't need it now. But you couldn't be under the covering, my covering. And I even put your helper there to help you to say, now Billy, how are we going to do this? But you wouldn't abide. We wouldn't have as many marriages break up, man, if somebody knew this. this you, maybe y'all don't need it, but somebody, it wouldn't break up. You need to buy it. You're getting too fat. I, I said when I married you, I don't want no fat woman now. I don't want no fat woman. Your belly hanging all over your belt. You can't see your feet, but you want a dime piece. You looking like a 24-piece, but you want a dime piece. Get out of here. Oh, God, help me, Jesus. Look, say, Lord, help me. Um, they done got old now. They feet hurt. <laughs> you got to buy it. You go get that dime piece, man. She's allowed to be too much for you to handle. 
and him too. <laughs> I won't know. I'm tired. I won't. No, you better buy it, brother. You stay on the porch. Stay on the porch. Look at somebody and say, you better buy it. Somebody going to see you without your makeup, brother. Your ride is fly, you know, your shoes is shine. But they going to see you without your makeup. You limping and you barely get down to huff it. They be like, whoa, shoot. See your woman too without your makeup. You better buy it. You better, you better buy it. Oh, yeah, it's the truth. Somebody will take that old woman or man that you don't want that's getting the check and, and say, I'll take him. You're getting the check, right? Yeah, well, I'll take you. <laughs> Look at somebody say, you better buy it. I better shut up now. I done going to acting up now. You better buy it. But say, it's time to bring forth fruit. Y'all got my pictures? Hit my picture real quick. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to show them. This is a little show and tell. This is Rampa Room. See, God will use the clippers on you. He used the clippers for close in. That's what he used the pastor for in different groups. But see, uh, he'll use, sometimes he had to use the hedge trimmers. God, God got stuff. You know, a man, old, old man that's been cutting his grass a long time, he got everything. He got weed eater. He got electric saw. He got, that's a, that's a hedge trimmer. That right there, that's for reaching the branches that are way up there. Hit it again, the knife on the other end. See, some of, some of us get too high. Yeah. See, some of us get so high, and he can't get me. And he got, say, oh, you know, he just going back to the shed. <laughs> he say, I, I got something for him. And he, he reach up there at that brand. You don't get too high for God. That's why you got to stay low. He got something to hit you at the low fruit. He got something to trim you. Make you all smooth like butter. You know, you ever seen them hedges? They done made a bird out of it or made something. You'd be like, man, they must have spent some time doing that. Yeah, somebody loved their yard. They done went out there. You know, you don't even go out there. Your weeds growing all over the sidewalk. God, forgive me. Help me. I got work to do. But uh, your weeds growing all over the sidewalk. Ain't no edging going on. But they got some people out there. Your bushes is all different sizes. You know, some of them this tall, some of them way down here. Some of them got stuff you need to go cut them out. But you just walk past them, you know, and just keep going. But there's some people you drive by their yards. You're know, like, man, they done took that bush and made a monkey out of it. You be like, boy, they serious about their yard. God is serious about you. But he got something that'll reach you. Yeah, see, that long one. And some of you who think yourself more highly than others, God can reach us. He can reach us. Look at somebody and say, God trying to reach you. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Did you receive the word today? Huh? I'm going to buy it because there's good fruit all the way at the top. And there's good fruit at the bottom. But wherever God has me, whatever he's called me to, I'm going to buy it and bring forth fruit. And the fruit is in Galatians. Love, joy, peace, patience, goodness. And then out of that, man, I'm going to have an international ministry in my community. I'll never run out of people to minister to. Take somebody by the hand. Man, this peach is pretty good. But this how, mm, this, man, this is how it'd be when you open your mouth, when you go to the family reunion, when your husband and wife see you, say, pray for me. Say, pray for me. When my kids see me. They'd be like, ooh, I got the best daddy in town. Cause he tastes like a peach. Mmm. Ooh. Be broke, ain't got no money. But when your spouse see you, you just the best husband. I'm feeding y'all. <laughs> how, how can I feed you if I don't eat? 
at what I'm trying to tell you. Come on, because it's good. It's good where God is. <laughs> oh, you think I'm going to quit enjoying God because... Right in the presence of my enemy. Nobody showing me respect. I'm going to eat the fruit of the Lord. I'm going to suck on this seed, too. Y'all know y'all do. Before you throw it away. You know you got to play with it for an hour or something. You finally, you finally. Oh, taste the seed. That's the Lord. The Lord. Oh, taste and see. Mm. 20, 21, 21 bites. Mm. Oh, God, we thank you for the fruit of the Spirit. We thank you for where joy, whoo, I see the Lord. Wasn't, Lord, you were putting joy in our life. We thank you that patience becomes delicious to us. Temperance becomes delicious to us. Serving becomes delicious to us. Waiting, waiting on our ministries and waiting on our callings and trials and tribulations, all that become delicious. Because we get to taste of your goodness. Lord, we thank you that wherever you have called us to, that we will be faithful unto death. We bless. We ask you to please have mercy. Don't cut us off. But dung about us, fertilize us, and give us more time. Please have mercy where we are not bearing fruit and we didn't bear fruit, that you will be patient a little longer so that we can bear fruit, what you call us to and your purpose because you are the true husband man and you know exactly what you're doing. So Lord, we bring our families, our children, our concerns. Come on. And as we close, we bring our ministries to you, our callings, our gifts, our election. We want them to be fruitful. But Lord, we, we ask you to help us to see these principles so that we can abide in the vine. And help us to understand we can't do it on our own. We can't abide alone. That day is over. So we surrender. Would you just surrender to the Lord wherever you are, if you're watching social media. I put my life, my ministry, my marriage, my relationships, I put it all in your hand. I put it in your hand. There's stuff I can't fix, I can't make better, I can't make it produce fruit, but you can. So I'm going to abide. I'm going to abide. I'm going to wait on you, Lord. I'm going to move when you tell me to move, and I'm going to trust you. Plant me in the house of God so that I might flourish in the tabernacles of the Lord, in the temple of the Most High. Let me be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, bringing forth fruit in its season. Leaves not withering. Whatever I do, it will prosper. Thank you for that in Jesus' name and for his glory, I pray. 
And I say, Amen. 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 If you're not saved, you can be saved today. If you haven't given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, you can. You can right now by simply saying to him, Lord, I give my life to you. Amen. If you're here today and you need to get saved or you need to rededicate your life, do it and you can do it now by simply asking Jesus to come into your life and be your Savior. And then if you do that, you can your mouth what you believe in your heart, that Jesus is my Lord, he's my Savior, and then you follow after him. Then you have a good church to go to, a place where God can plant you in the house of the Lord so you can abide in your fruit, can be part of his garden. Amen. It's, it's nothing really attractive about a, a yard with just one little fruit tree, but there's something about an orchard, and God's house is an orchard. Yeah, every one of us is a tree. It's an orchard. Amen. So we thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. 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 May the Lord bless you. Yes. Oh, bless the Lord, oh, my soul. Glory to your name. Amen. Oh, Give God within. another hand clap of praise. Amen. Bless his holy name. We shall abide in God him. Amen. You. We shall abide in him and bear fruit. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory bless to your Lord. name. Bless the Lord. Uh, before we take up our tithes and offering, bless we just want to welcome our guest. Oh. Uh, I can't Brother remember Spencer. your name, but Brother Spencer and his wife. Yes. 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 Bless welcome you. my guest. Amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome Hallelujah. on behalf of Pastor and uh, Apostle Conley and First Lady Conley. Amen. We're Lord. glad to see you this morning. Yes. Amen. 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 And we're still worshiping, though. Appreciate we're still worshiping, and we're worshiping in our giving. Amen. Appreciate Amen. So you should have already purposed in your heart, amen, in the, of what you were going to bring into the house of the Lord. We never come into the house of the Lord empty-handed. Amen. We, we, we come in and we receive. We sit down and we eat. Amen. And so we should be able to bring something into the house of the Lord. We should be covenant in our finances uh, with God. Amen. And so I'm going to ask, amen, if the person next to you doesn't have anything in their hand, that you would give them something. If we're training our children up, amen, then they don't have to get old like we are and struggle sometimes to do what is right. Amen. Amen. So we're going to uh, turn you over into the hands of our ushers. Amen. Get excited about it. It's time to give. God is so worthy. Amen. We just received. Amen. So it's time to give. Amen. Glory to your name, God. And God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. And so we should be excited. Amen. That we come into the house of God with something in our hands to give. Amen. To sow into the kingdom of God. God is so worthy. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And those of you that would like to give, uh, you can give through SFM Cash App, SFM Harvest, H-A-R-V-E-S-T. Or you can give through Tithely.com, uh, T-I-T-H-E dot L-Y, excuse me, at Shepherd's Fold Ministries located at 3200 East Reno in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Again, you can give through Cash App at SFM Harvest, H-A-R-V-E-S-T. Are through Tithely, T I T H E dot L Y. And look for Shepherd's Folk Ministries located at 3200 East Reno in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, 73111. I mean, 73117. Amen. Amen. Most graciously and heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for the tithes and offering that were brought into this house, Father God. We're asking, Lord, that you would. Pour back, Father God, into those that have given, Father God. And, Lord, that we will continue to use the tithes and offering for the edification of your kingdom, Father God. We thank you, Lord, for the word that has went forth on this morning, Father God. We ask that you will pour back into Apostle Conley all that he has poured out into us, God, and that we will continue to abide in you, Father God, with everything that we have. We give you all praise, glory, and honor in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. Uh, would you like to have any words? Amen. 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 God, God bless you, Apostle. It's, it's nice being in the house of the Lord. Amen. You know, we, uh, we get, get ready to go to convocation next month for ourselves in Pennsylvania. Because um, that's what we've been doing. You know, going around, we're doing a lot of evangelizing right now. But 